Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show how add-ons can interact with each other, I will touch on updates a little, in the bottom left I will highlight which add-on is used to make it easier for you. Projeprim add-on that allows you to use geoprimitives by 200 these are different deformations and adjust the mesh. But the most important thing is the use of boolean operations in layers while using both ordinary objects and geoprimitives in real time, which allows you to control the mesh at any time. The panel on top belongs to the curve work addon, more on that later. Let's make a stand using the loft curve addon. This add-on allows you to adjust the mesh in real time and create flexible shapes using curves. In one of the updates, I added shrink wrap select the curve at the beginning or end of the loft and the active object to which you want to stick. The curve is projected onto the object the object must completely cover the dimensions of the curve. Since this is a Junode primitive, you can also adjust all its settings. I think I went too far with the size. Also, a bevel modifier for curves was added to the loft. You can control the width of the chamfer along the entire curve, as well as the number of points. One of the nuances is if you add bevel curves before shrink wrap, then it will not work for you. I recommend doing shrink wrap first and then bevel or not using it on curves with shrink wrap. You can also change the primitive and the loft will adjust. A ring mode has been added to Projoprim in the cylinder and con primitives for convenience. Let's create something with ProGeoPrim. I duplicate the GeoPrimitive each time, which gives me the opportunity to customize each of them as I need. Remove unnecessary parts with a difference layer. It seems we need to adjust the dimensions a little. Yes, don't forget that when selecting several objects of the same type, you can adjust their parameters while holding down the Alt key. Then you can hide the background objects of the layer. 
Oh, it seems I've moved away from the original idea. Well, be back. Something like that. Perhaps this is the first main type of interaction. Let's create some form using curve work. Change the segment type to free to repeat the bend. I don't like this bend angle, let's extrude. This can be aligned by switching this segment to the vector type. We do it according to the same principle and above. Let's subdivide here by two points and extrude. It seems I didn't have TWID mode turned on, be careful with that. Select everything extruded and points on the border and change the segment type to vector. Here we will make the segment type aligned. I want bevel here, but it won't work here. You need to add a point first to make the bevel work more accurately when bending. Now you can make bevel. Let's quickly shape it. Let's start interacting. Let's duplicate the geoprimitive cylinder. It has different layers. They will also act on the duplicate. We will switch the cylinder to ring mode and use it as a shell. Adjust the size. To give our geoprimitive shell the shape of a curve, we must fill the curve. Let's use the curve face filled adun. It will serve as a bridge between the curve and progeprim. Use solidify function to cover primitive shell. You control the mesh with a curve. Now you need to select the solidify curve created using face filled and make the prodioprim geoprimitive active. And create an intersection layer. We have an object. Now you can still use geoprimitive settings including grid settings. We will hide the object used for the intersection. We only need a curve. With curve you can now change the shape. Now you can correct places that don't to look the way you do like. You can customize the grid by adjusting the resolution on the curve. If you are missing a grid somewhere when changing the resolution, then you can add points there using subdivid. You can adjust everything using the settings in the primitive.
Let's continue building a little with Projoprim. Let's make another segment of the manipulator. We will also exclude the protruding part with a Boolean difference layer. Perhaps we will add a shell to the union layer and move the layer higher so that the difference layer also acts on it. And in this case we will simply add a new cylinder to the difference layer, selecting it, and selecting the active object that has layers. Move the cursor. Let's create the shape of the curve one more time, but in a slightly different, more precise way. Let's move the cursor to our curve. Now select the new curve and click the button object to cursor. Let's use Boolean operations on the curves of the curve work add-on. Now you have a pretty accurate cut. Let's add a couple more elements to the form. So you once again create a shape using curve work, then fill the resulting shape with the curve face filled add-in, solidify it, and then add it to the intersect layer or any other layer in the Projoprim add-in. In this case, our shell is located in the union layer, so in order to make an intersection with it, we need to turn on the display and create a layer on the shell. Now you can also configure everything you need. Also, you can add a curve. Just select your curve and the one you want to add to and press the keys. You can also use Projiprim with Boolean layers on a loft object, but we'll go a little further. Same mechanics create a curve, fill it with face filled. Disable smooth on loft to better see the grid. We filled the curve. Let's slightly reduce the resolution on the curve.
Look curve work has the functions mirror airy and many others that work very well with face filled. Don't worry if your origin was in the center of the object, just move it using the panel. Let's make the circular array a little bigger. It doesn't have to be a circle, it can be anything. Let's make a new difference layer out of this. I hope you understand what I mean, this is a loft that can be controlled by curves. And on top there is a difference layer, which is also controlled by curves. Only these are curves made using the curve work circular array, which I don't apply to control them like a mirror. You can change them, control the mesh on them, and also duplicate for face filled it will be a kind of inversion. If you apply a circular array then you can edit them independently. I would like to show a lot more in this video, but it seems to me that my strength is already at its limit. If this video was useful for you please like it. If you like my Adon please leave reviews on the Blender market. This will help me a lot, thank you very much for your support, see you in the next video.